Hey guys, so welcome back to uh, to my channel, and uh, thank you everyone for uh, for joining me today on the market recap today, December 17, 2019. No, so uh, without further ado, let's go straight to it, because uh, masaya yung maging discussion, maging discussion natin today, masaya in a sense na abasta ah, alit you know. <laughs> So first up, uh, PSEI. Uh, PSEI closed at 7,730.45, uh, 28.85 points up uh, versus yesterday, and this is a quite a good news. No, if you guys have observed kanina nung nagstart yung yung market uh, PSEI, it went down by all by up to ano 7,600 level. 7620 if I'm not mistaken and then mga around 10.30 it slowly uh, rallied hanggang mga bandang almost 3pm na uh, which resulted to a uh, uh, a green green market for uh, for us today no? uh, total turnover is really good 10.37 billion if you remember, 7.5 ang ating daily average, and we are now at 10 billion. Uh, we are still at net foreign selling by 536 million. The I would say not so good is that despite the fact that we are green and the total turnover is uh, 10 billion, if you can see here, the losers have uh, overturned or have took the advantage over the advance, advancers almost almost every two two decliners is to just one advance uh, so which is not really uh, that good it it only means na only a few of the of our stock were good today now uh, in terms of the active so ito uh, sm is down 0.47% but the value turnover is around 1.44 mabigat siya ha uh, kanina uh, who else MWC eto eto yung hindi naman siya big news na natin kasi we already know what's going on but uh, I'd like to discuss this even further uh, what happened and uh, its impact to, uh, uh, to us traders and to us consumers no? um Top gainers, CI, si wala ko nakikita masyado. Well, ICT, siya lang. Uh, but then, ICT is uh, a blue chip stock. So, uh, that's good. Isa siya sa mga nagpaangat ng PSE natin today at 5.55. I think siya yung pinakamataas on the, on the blue chips. Uh, top losers, ayun nga, si MWC at 35%. Uh, si Makai even pero maliit lang naman yung volume so I'm not really uh, looking into that no. um, what else now let's go to our 52 week high and low 52 week high nope we don't have a 52 week high today uh, pero low madami no? uh, isa na dyan si MWC as I've mentioned and uh, also Meg si Meg World I thought out of the slump na siya pero apparently hindi uh, it was already consolidating uh, before uh, I mean last week uh, it's doing a sideway movement pero kahapon lang it broke uh, it breaks its support and then today again so it's now at 404 pesos per share no who else? We even have a boy T's power. No? Um, ang haba ng week niya dito, guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, it reached uh, 32 before it closed at uh, 33. No? But even previously, uh, kahapon pa lang, talagang pinababa na si, uh, si a boy T's. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Makikita ba tayo? Uh, a boy T's power let's go to the news tingnan natin kung merong ano ah kung ano yung news dito kung wala naman okay 
this one. files a uh, second suit against Ilocos Town so the Luzon Hydro Corp which is a wholly owned unit of Aboytees uh, it filed a case against the municipality of Alelim Locosur real property tax delinquency from the office so because of the unpaid taxes and the penalties okay but I still don't see it as uh, as a big uh, issue for uh, for ability so I'm not really entirely sure about um, about the slump no? pero if you can uh, see here uh, bumaba siya ng almost 32 and then it went back to on sa uh, yesterday's closing price niya of 33 pesos so it appears that 33 has uh, proven to be a good support. Let's see tomorrow what will happen next. Uh, what else? So apart from AP, I have also saw ISM. See ISM. So ilang araw na siyang bagsak. This is still the the company of I mean the, one of the stocks of of Dennis Uy. Uh, of Chelsea, of Dito. Yeah. So, well, uh, value turnover is 23 million. Not bad, not bad. But yeah. Okay, now let's go to uh, the issue of uh, MWC. So, uh, MWC, uh, hindi ko na masyadi explain kasi alam nyo na rin naman yung nangyayari sa kanya. Uh, but today, uh, it is down, it closed at 6 pesos. No? Pero kanina, it fell short of all, umabot siya ng 5.01 kanina. No? Uh, or about almost 44%. I really thought, guys, I, I really thought MWC uh, will be floored today because of the intense sell-off. No? Uh, when it is floored, automatically uh, it halt yung in trading for, M for MWC uh, to prevent. Uh, that is a, one of the ano eh, that is one of the um, parang defense mechanism na enabled sa uh, stocks wherein if the if a certain stock fell down to its floor price automatically the, the trade will be uh, will be halted para para naman medyo ma, ma kumalma ang uh, ang market pero yun uh, even though that's a case uh, bumalik naman siya umangat naman siya and at the closing it uh, closed at around 35.70 six uh, uh, percent no and uh, at the same time uh, this saga of the manila water manila issue uh, led me to think about the 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 political risk that is available or that is seen dito sa sa bansa natin you know, and how it really affects our economy no, uh, how, uh, what do I mean by that? Okay, we all know that Manila Water is one of the services company, I mean utilities company uh, available sa, sa sa Philippines. It is part, it is a publicly listed company, and at the same time, it is part of the of the blues so of the blue chips or the the index. No, and um, uh, one of the perks of being part of the index is that. Uh, isa siya sa mga paborito hindi mga favorite na favorite pero isa siya sa mga go-to utilities ng mga big institutions like for example SSS no? and this is where or this is how it affects the the general consumer now uh, SSS uh, SSS holds our pension 
dun sa mga mga pensioners uh, kung saan kinukuha yung yung pera para mabigyan sila ng pension ng, uh, ng SSS so one of the avenue for SSS to gain money is of course to invest in stocks no? and uh, from the uh, from the last shareholders data that was provided uh, by Manila Water uh, it mentioned there that SSS holds around 6%, 6 plus, 6.6 yata, or 6.2%, something like that, of the, uh, of Manila water, no? And if you can see the, the drop from here, uh, how deep was this since the start? Almost 67%. No? Uh, a 67 drop for from a uh, a relatively good stock before the the president's run it really wrecks havoc towards the uh, stocks no? uh, specifically doon sa doon sa company so yeah medyo mabigat din mabigat yung yung ganitong issue at the same time uh Maybe some of you are wondering why only MWC. Well, siyempre dahil si MWC ay isang sa listed company. Mainilad, on the other hand, is not listed. No? Uh, Mainilad is not listed but its mother company or companies are like DMC and, uh, and MPI. So, hindi masyadong tinatama ng DMC and MPI simply dahil conglomerates yung mga yun. Kung maga marami silang hawak, hindi lang yung but then again, uh, there's a recent news, I think kahapon lang, um, yung pangalan niya, uh, from, uh, from DMC, uh, they said na it's possible because of what's happening, eh, may nilad could go bankrupt, especially kung hindi makakuha ng extension after the 2022 uh, deadline or at the uh, expiry ng ng water concessionaire uh, um, contract no? and uh, that's really a sad news especially for uh, for a for a company no? because of, of that issue uh, it affects syempre yung investors uh, sentiment over the Philippines syempre kung ikaw ang investor tapos malalaman mo na nakikialam yung government sa palakan ng isang company di ba uh, kahit na regardless of the of the of the issue or regardless of the regardless of the 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 reason why wala eh talagang it's it's really affected <laughs> that's how it is now, now let's go to let's quickly check no? um WC today. Okay. Now, uh, there is a good support here sa 6 pesos. Uh, we can see a 505,000. Well, uh, hindi siya ganun kabigat. No? Given that the average price is 6, 6 pesos, 6 times 505 is just what? 3 million? Ang dali niya. Pero, wala eh. Ganun talaga. Mahira. Sobrang negative yung sentiment sa, sa MWC. So, uh, if I have the, the money, if I have cash, if I have buying power, I, I still won't. Uh, I'll wait out. I'll wait it out. Okay, Manila Water. No? Kasi, medyo delikado yung kanyang, ano, yung, yung status niya right now. Especially, kung hindi matutuloy yung kung hindi nila mababawi extension mabigat mabigat yung case na yun now uh, we have also saw some news that uh, other companies na sobrang bumagsak recently uh, related to the water concessionaire have al already bought back some of their shares which is which are good one of them is MWC's mother company AC um, yeah, it's, uh, it's now 
trading at 760 pesos even the, the DMC uh, DMC have also bought back some of their shares although it's negative to 2.52 but uh, still uh, those are good signals because that means the company is uh, seeing that there is a good opportunity for the their stock to uh, no, to to be bought back and it's uh, there's it's a good sign that they're trying to protect their minority shareholders there so ayun uh, i think yung palang kailan matut kailan matatapos tong water concessionaire saga na to i don't know uh, most likely baka next year pagpasok ng January baka doon pa lang pero at least for the remaining of the week I will be you know, I will not be very positive about uh, about this issue uh, kung may hawak kayo or kung you, guys if you are long term sa DMC MPI AC uh, their their ano their price are very attractive right now so, that is for the long term for the short term, wag muna. Kasi uh, masyado pang hot yung, yung issue and it could it could uh, give you more risk more downside uh, as opposed to its uh, upside. So, short, no muna. Long term, very attractive na siya. To be honest. Uh, even sa akin to win. When I look at the, the numbers, they are okay. Uh, now what else? Uh, let's check out yung mga stocks na, na pinag-usapan natin na karaan. So we have Bicor. Ano na yari sa kanya? Ah, uh, okay. So medyo nag-stabilize siya dito sa area na to at the 4.8 and the 4.15 area. No. So yeah, let's see. Potentially, baka umabot pa siya dito. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, DD, uh, ala, consolidation si, si DD right now. Si Green naman. So, same thing. Bukang they have really respected itong support ng 1.88. No? So, well, that's a good news at least kato paano. Although, it's still on the, ano, it's still on the uh, downward momentum uh, right now. Let's just uh, wait it out. Uh, what else? Uh, si Wilco naman. Ah, wala. Uh, siguro, let's just wait it out pa until mag-breakout. Ako ah. Kung ako ang tatawin nyo, uh, I'll, I'll wait for the breakout. But prior to that, pahinga muna. So I, I guess uh, yun lang muna sa atin today. Uh, guys, once again, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for joining me today. I do apologize if hindi ako nakapag-upload uh, kahapon. Nasa galaan ako. Uh, actually, uh, starting nung, nung weekend pa, nasa galaan. So, kaya hindi ako nakapag-upload sa uh, ng mga videos and ng mga content sa, sa Facebook and um, so, ayun. Uh, once again, guys, thank you for joining and uh, good luck to your trading and have a great day. Bye-bye.